Everyone, welcome Armani to the Mari Show. And Armani is furious because she's here to prove to a man named Mike that he is the father of her son, Avion. Now, Armani. How cute is Avion? Now, Armani says Mike's main reason for denying her son is his girlfriend, Kalia. Brainwashed Mike into turning his back on his own flesh and blood. So, they're saying there is no way that he's the father of that he little. He is the father. He yeah. is the father? Okay, Armani, so let's go back, okay? So, what was going on with you and Mike around the time you got pregnant? He was coming to see my baby. Um, he was coming to see me when I was pregnant. But he had a girlfriend. It doesn't matter. He was still coming to see me. So, in other words, were you the side chick or was she the side chick? Okay. Okay. Side chick. Uh, I want no side chick because they weren't together. Didn't he keep be bouncing back and forth? Yes, he was playing house, basically going back over here, messing with her, then come over here, messing with me. Mike would be denying Avion if Kalia wasn't there? Yes, he would still deny him because he's a deadbeat. He's a... Oh, I see. Well, let me ask you this, and I, I, I ask everybody this. If you think he's a deadbeat, what the heck are you doing with him? I was only with him. I was only with him yeah. because... You really? I was, I, I was... Yeah, well, I hear something else. I hear you were with him a month ago. Yeah. See me actually. Right. No, you actually chase them down. Bobby. You want to go see him. Let me no, check with girl. He Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Hold on now. Whatever, little Bill. Sit down. Sit down, little Bill. Was he Bill. there when your baby was born? No, he was not. It wasn't. Did he come, did he come, did he come see you after the baby was born? Yes, he came to see us every day. He was playing the family role. Oh, he was? Yes. And has that stopped or is that still going on? No. We don't no. talk, we don't see each other, nothing. He'll come see my son or nothing. You check him every day. And you blame her. Check him every day. I Stop. See. Okay. What did he ever tell you why he didn't think that Avion was his? Because of Kalea. Because of Kalea. And by I the way. Because of me, but y'all was capping and trying not to tell me. <laughs> The street with your with uh, Avion, right? And you see him, what happens? This is my baby right here. Right. Yeah. He'll walk straight past him. Oh. But he'll listen, listen. But he will he will push her son in the shoulder, but can't push Max. All right, everybody, here are Mike and his girlfriend Kalia. Oh. Why? Because she a whole liar. Come on now. Lie to you. 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 What am I about? about? Pipe down. No. I'm like I said, I'm piped up. Like I said, I'm piped up. More I'm talking to you. And I'm talking to you. Like I said. Yeah. Like I said. Right. It went from a white dude. Right. To a black dude in Norfolk. So when the baby pop out, it's his. Mind you, more. Um, it's about my child. I was acknowledging. What's that have to do with your child? This is her child. No. You're helping this girl yes. out? No, she was not. That girl would never help me. Oh, God. I'm on oh, God. I'm on you. Oh, God. I'm on you. 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 I'm on
Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Mike, you say that little boy does not have a particular trait that your kids would have. And what would that be? Eyes, the hair, Come on the now. skin, that baby brown skin. Yeah, but what, what, what else I is see that baby in What about, what about uh, down below? Brown what skin, about? what? Yeah, what? I'm about? red. I'm red, more oh, Both of my kids, red. I just don't feel like that baby look like me, period. This baby don't look like him. No! no. 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 This is the same hair color. The same hair color. If this, color if this is your child, this baby right? don't look like if him. If it is, I'm going to do what I got to do. What like I just told her before. All right. We're not confident that he is, yes, Mike. Yes, he is. No, she ain't. 99.9. No, yes, I am. No, she ain't. In the case of five-month-old Avion, Mike, you are not... Everyone, please welcome Alexis to the Mari Show. Now, for the past six years, Alexis has been in a volatile, on-again, off-again relationship with her boyfriend, Pete. And within that time frame, Alexis has given birth to two children. Her now three-year-old daughter, Teresa, and her 17-month-old son, Carter. Now, Alexis admits she is not certain if Pete is the father of the older one, Teresa. But she also claims she's positive that Pete is the father of the younger son, Carter. Okay. So let's get right to this, Alexis. When you gave birth to your daughter, Teresa, right? Yes. You didn't think Pete was the father, did you? No, not at all. I was with someone else at the time. What I don't understand is why now do you think that she might be Pete's? He went back and he put two and two together for a time frame and there is a possible chance that he is her dad. And especially when you gave birth to your son, Carter, right? They seem to look, Teresa and Carter seem to look alike. Yes. They look, they look like me. And, and so they're... you think both of them are Pete's? Yes. No doubt in my mind. Right there. <laughs> you say that Teresa, the older one, and Pete have the same kind of allergy. Is yes. that right? It's a chocolate allergy. Pete told me when he was a child, that he was found out he's allergic to it because chocolate is supposed to give people a sugar rush for Pete. It made him an aggressive person. It made him lash out. And Teresa is the same exact way. You give her chocolate. She's aggressive. She's mean. She throws things. She hits people. I mean, you and Pete have had an up and down relationship, okay? You all had split up. You got together for a weekend. And that's when you got, that's when you conceived Carter, the little boy, right? Yes. Pete says that he was using condoms all that weekend. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, Maury, they tell you you can either the condom can break. I condoms aren't always 100% effective. I did use condoms. So, and look at the them. same time frame. Me and him had sex. I, I was pregnant. You know Six that. weeks later, that is his child. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in your mind. No doubt in my First mind. First of all, uh, little Carter has a hernia. Pete had a hernia, right? They, have, they both have feet problems. Right. Carter just had surgery for his foot problem. He has feet problems while running his family. The hernia. He has surgery. Carter's about to get surgery. There's another person who's been into Pete's head about all this, that he's not the father of either one of these kids. Who is that? His dad. His father. Yes. His father, Keith. Yes. He's honestly irrelevant. Like, he's a but He has no business on the show. He's his father. It doesn't matter. He's only seen the kids twice, Corey, twice. My mom and dad have been...
been in my kid's life and Pete's since the day you're born. Where's his dad? So you say he's two faced? Yes. There's no doubt in my mind he's two faced. You go behind my back and talk crap before we get here, but yet you weren't saying that when you were blowing me up asking to see your grandchild. And then you see him and then you hug him and say, pop up here, and then now you want to tell me that's not your child? He really? says you entrapped. His son. No, it's not entrapment because at the end of the day, Maury, he's entrapping his own son. He's keeping his son away from a child that deserves their father. Mm -hmm. Maybe if that stopped talking, does he, he would be understanding. Does he want to be the father? Yes, he wants to be the father. Do you want to be together with him? Yes, yes. I have two kids by this man. Like, that's the love Everybody of my life. Everybody, here's Pete. Pete, come on out. You know I use No, them. no, you know no. I use You're going to sit there and deny both of them. You're going to deny both of them. Look at Teresa. Look at her. Look at her. Pete, she's a beautiful girl. Let's go. Let's look go. at her. Look at her girl. face and look at your we face. Got beautiful kids. That is your child. Pete, first of all, you didn't think you were Teresa's father, no, did you? No, not from the beginning. Mark. And she didn't, didn't think you were. No, no. But as she grew older, we, we started seeing those characteristics and they started to be similar. And from the beginning, I was, I was always there. You know, we have, we've had our ups and downs and everything. But then why are, why are we here? Why are we here? Because I'm trying to, I'm, I want an answer. You got an answer for Carter, so Lexi, why put Lexi, him on that? Lexi, I can't why take you Why put him on that? You had an answer from three times this week. Okay, three. okay, okay. This is a strange relationship between the two. It is. It's, it's, it's been a struggle, and we've been trying to work things out and get things right, especially for those two beautiful kids. No, whether no. Whether that's, Teresa's that's mine what? or not. It, nothing's going to change. I'm just are you, here for an are, more. Do you have stronger feelings about Carter being yours than, and then Teresa being yes. yours? Then yes. why would he just, take me on the show if he knew Carter was his child? Well, because I came here for an answer, and then I, I can't just take your word. You had three doctors, word, Peter. Three. Yeah, but the, you were Lexi. there. You were there when I was pregnant since you know, the beginning. Got, you were exactly, there throughout the whole pregnancy. I got everybody he else has the same problems you do when it comes to health. But that weekend you were together when Carter was conceived, she right. had. You say she had been with other guys before then? Yes. Because I remember when I was going, when I was going to pick her up that weekend, there was another car that came and pulled up and was saying stuff out of the car and then drove away. And I'd ask, who's that? And every time it was every time I asked something, it was always it always led to an argument, Maury. No, it did not lead to an argument. It, I it told you who that was. Even that was my ex-boyfriend, who to this day still tries to be with me. And who am I after? Yo, who am I still with? But who's still in contact? Me? Still in contact. Hey, No, he's not here, but he I'm here. here for those kids. And you have to be faithful to you. I'm here for me. The, yeah. You are doing the same thing. But I'm here for everybody. For those two beautiful children. Okay. Like, Maury, when we yeah. went there for that weekend, I went in there with the full 12 box of condoms, okay? I, I left the door. You left the door. I left the door. When you got the I left. I knew oh I used them. Oh, my goodness. Let, 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 let me get this straight. <laughs> Shoot away, Maury. Shoot away. Eight condoms were used. In like two, three days, Maury. Like two, three days. Like, no, 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 Maury, don't let him argue. That bus was open when he got wrong. to the hotel. He only used two condoms. How would you describe your relationship with your father? Um, I'm, we've had our ups and downs, but it's, so he's always had my back. He's always had my back, no matter what. Yeah, that's how you and now he's in, in your ear. That's not your child. Now he's in my that's ear. That's not your he's child. All, and same, same thing with the rest of my family. They're always in my ear. He doesn't think. Oh, so we got us. Does he? No, no, not at all. He thinks we're in a toxic relationship. He wasn't saying that, that in the was, beginning. She thinks Why now? he thinks that she's manipulative and well, well manipulative. we're gonna meet your father, huh. but before before we meet him, he made two statements. All right? First, he said Alexis is an immature, spoiled brat. She is using these two kids to trap my son. I'm spoiled. Has he looked at his son? Secondly, he said, My son is way too good for Alexis. She's a liar and a manipulator. Messed up in the head. Your son is a cheater. Your son has been proved to be a cheater. And yet you're gonna back him? What kind of man are you then? If you're accepting your son's behavior, what are you doing the same thing? Here's the kid, Lexi. Everybody, here's the dad, Keith. You are trapping my son. Keith, yes, you 
are. We'll see if yes, this is are. it. Okay, and you're going to we'll see. see if this and is it. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Kid, we will hear it. We'll find it out. With him I won't be crying. Because that's his child. Let me ask you this. Is there one word that you say describes her? Liar, manipulative, in oh. Did you, Toxic? Did you, did, were you... I met you twice. Twice in the whole six years of me and I'm your son judge, together. I'm a good judge of Really? Because you were saying that when you're blowing up me and your son to see your grandchild? But you're a good judge. Why you stick my to my face? I'm stick up for my son. Oh, my God. So why don't you think he's Carter's father? I don't see the resemblance. He does. Have, you do so apparently with Carter... You know, he has a foot problem, and there are foot problems in your family, but you we say... Just have a gimpy, we just have a weird toe. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's all. Do just... you have anything to say to him before I read the results? He's an idiot if he's going to deny them, too. You're an idiot. <laughs> they are your children. They're going to see them right answer. now. He wants... You want to be the father, I don't you? I want to be a part of those kids' lives. Okay, we're going to find out right now. <laughs> In the case of three-year-old Teresa, Pete, you are not... <laughs> Mari, that's, that's not going to change nothing. That's still my daughter. That's still your daughter? That's still my daughter. You want to raise that child? It's not yours. It's not yours. Right. But no, you can still love her, but it's yeah. not yours. Oh, so I got... You can She's still three love years her, old, but as she grow, I built a relationship with that little girl. Did you, you know, hear I what still, he just I said? I still love her. You know he what wants I mean? to raise that child. As he says that now. You ready for this one? However, in the case of 17-month-old Carter, Pete, you are not. <laughs> the Understand this, right? <laughs> I told you. Pete. Everyone, this is Megan. Welcome, Megan, to the show. <laughs> Megan says when she told this man, Cartavius, that she was pregnant with her now one year old daughter, Mariah, <laughs> his response was classic You know damn well that is not my baby. That's what he said. <laughs> says, since then, Cartavius is more concerned with his rap career than his daughter. But, but Cartavius is not alone, you see. He's here with his mother, Tracy. He thinks... <laughs> Tracy thinks Megan is pinning her baby on her son because her son is a local celebrity. What? <laughs> That's what he's talking about. He's it's... staying with his mama? He ain't doing... Here's what happens. You find out you're pregnant. You get in touch with them, right? Right. What did they say? Oh, he said, you know damn well that ain't my baby and hung up in my face. That's what he did. <laughs> Disrespected me. Disrespected me to the utmost. So what I did, I go to the house and I speak with Tracy. Oh. And she like, you know, we need a Dana test first. I'm like, what's that? A DNA test. Oh, OK. Well, we can work on that. We can do that. But a year later, and I ain't got nothing. So that's why I'm here today. I see. This is what Cartavius and his mother have to say once. People tell me all the time that Megan's a whore and she can't be trusted. I know for a fact Megan was messing around with other guys when I was having sex with her. My son has a pug nose and that baby does not have it. When I found out she was pregnant, I already told her I didn't think it was mine. There's not a single shred of my son's DNA in that baby. I used to be chilling at the gas station to see her come through with different dudes every other night. I just think she's trying to trap my son because he has a big rap career in front of him. I asked Megan to get a DNA test several times. She always avoids me. He's only 20 years old, and I would not let a whore run him down. Cartavius and Tracy. Another man's last name. 
งเอาไปแข่งกันเลยเเอสเซนส์ไม่ใช่แค่เป็นนักร้ายแต่เป็นสแกมอาร์ติสต์
She knows that Araya is my daughter. I was at the hospital the day she came into this world. Essence telling people we only slept together once. That's a damn lie. I gave my heart and soul to her for almost two years. I've been buying everything for this baby. Whatever my daughter needs, she gets because I love her. Roderick is a fool for thinking this is his child. And it pisses me off that he even been in my daughter's life. Essence, Mariah is my daughter whether you like it or not. When a DNA test proves it, I'm going to be a part of your life forever. He's lying. He's lying. He's a stalker. He didn't even say her name right. He called her Mariah. Her name is Araya. How you going to be her daddy? You're a stalker, man. Here's Anthony. your baby, bro. We only slept together one time. We was never together for two years. You're a liar, bro. Anthony, don't you call her a liar? Did you call her a liar? Everybody knows she be lying. Did you know she was with another guy at the time? No. Yes. No, yes. I didn't, Anthony, bro. Anthony, you're my Facebook friend, so anything no, that pertains didn't. to Ryan Broderick was tagged. You know everything. You see everything with your own eyes, bro. Bruh, I never met this guy. Anthony, 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 what, were, what was your reaction when she told you she was pregnant? I was excited. Weren't you around during her pregnancy? No. No, I was here, I was no. there. Me and Project was staying together. You're lying. Me? We're going to clear all this up because guess what? We gave Anthony a lie detector test. <laughs> when was the last time you saw that little girl? He never seen her. He never met her. He never held her. He never touched her. He's lying. Okay. <laughs> so this your kid, man? This your kid? That's my baby, bro. Yeah, bro. This not your baby, bro. You need to chill out, bro. It's my baby. Broderick, nice to see you. Okay. You just heard what he had to say. What's going on? Well, it made me piss, Maury, that this man tried to claim my baby, and he ain't been there since day one. I've been, I cut the bill of cord. I've been there since day one. So, you may be a poster child, a poster man, for what we consider to be co-parenting. How does that work? It's working fine right now, Maury. I see her every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. I should know what that is. Maury. Listen, Maury. What? I really want to be this kid father, Maury. You want to be the kid father? I really want to be this kid father, Maury. I, I have to. But you you can't father my child. He's her father. I'm trying to be this baby father, Maury. I, I, I feel you can't like be nobody's father. I can be a better father. Yours, bro. She's not yours. She ain't yours. She, she, she don't look like you. She acts right. like me. She thinks like you think, me. You think, uh, you think Araya looks like you? Yes, Maury. She looks definitely like me. Yeah. She don't look like him at all. Where? Where does she look where like you, bro? Where does she look like you at? Listen, she look like you. look at this. And then that's the eye. The head. Right, bro. The nose. Everything is mine. She look like me. Where does this man look like? Where does she look like at? Where? Show me. Sit down. Clown. And when I prove to be this baby father, you out. Okay, by it's the way, I'm, Broderick, I'm, Broderick. I'm still gonna be what, there. What, what, were you? He's still gonna be there. Broderick. Were you upset when Essence told you about Anthony? Yes, I was. Did you ever think that there was a possibility that Anthony would be the father? When she told me, yes, I did. Yeah, and then when were you sure that you were the father? When she came out looking like me. Right. And she think like, you feel me? When I cut the umbilical cord. Well, guess what? We've got two tests to do. We got a lie detector test and a DNA test. First, we're going to do Anthony's lie detector test, okay? Did Essence tell you that you were the father of her daughter, Araya? You said yes, the lie detector test determined. You're telling the truth. Let's go! Come on now! You're if you slept with Essence more than the one time she admitted to. You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you did not. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. I ain't gonna lie on you, buddy. Did you only recently find out that Araya might not be your daughter? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you did not just find out. So you admit you've known from the beginning. Were you, in essence, intimate throughout the course of her pregnancy? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you were not intimate throughout the pregnancy. Have you been providing for Araya since she's been born? 
you admitted to our lie detector administrator that you have not provided since she's exactly. born. Exactly. But this is the most important thing. Right. In the case of 18 month old Araya, Anthony, you are not the father. <laughs> In the case of 18-month-old Araya, Broderick. You are the father. You are the father. Okay, everyone, now, sitting in our secluded room is a woman who has been on our show 19 times. Oh! Her... Her name is Shalanda, and you may not recognize her now because Shalanda has lost 150 pounds. But, you know, you might, you might remember, or I guess you will remember, her past appearances because Shalanda has tested 17 men in hopes of finding the fathers of her daughter, Kayla, and her son, Terrell Jr. Now, everybody, welcome Terrell. Next to me, her husband. Because Terrell is here today because he has a secret he wants to reveal to Shalanda. So before we hear the secret, take a look at Shalanda and Terrell's history on our show. For four years, we helped Shalanda try to find her daughter's father. 17 different men were proven not to be the dad. Every time Shalanda appeared, she had hope. You are not, are not. I look back. See the faces of the men that I brought to the show. She heard 17 different results. At times, it was shocking. Not the ah! father. Oh oh we were always there to help Shalanda. Even though I have my husband's support, I also need Boris's support. One year later, Shalanda and Tyrell returned with a new child, Tyrell Jr. And once again, they needed a DNA test. Does he have any reason to doubt you? Yeah, he has a reason. I cheated on him again. In the case of two-month-old Tyrell Jr., Tyrell, you are the father. So, it's been a long journey. But let me ask you about because I haven't seen you in a while. How have the last few years been going? It's been good, Maury. Um, we got a good life. Um, my wife, she's went through a transition of, you know, losing the weight and all. Amazing yeah, transition. I mean, man. 150 pounds. Yeah. 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 But you're back. It's not good. It's not good. No. Um, because uh, you have a secret. Yeah. In fact, there are two parts to the secret. <sighs> What's the first part? Well, I had an affair. Oh. Um, you know, um, it's, it's been going on for a couple of years. And what's the second part of the secret? It's with my stepdaughter. Deanna, her daughter? You've been having an affair with her daughter? Yes. I don't even know how it happened, Maury. Um, it's something that should have never happened, and I feel horrible about it. That's bad. I mean, first of all, to have an affair, that's bad. Her daughter, that's worse. But there's another part to it. We have a two-year-old son. So you think Deanna's son is yours? I know it's my son, because he looks just like Tyrell Jr. I know that's my son. That's Shalanda's grandson. Yeah. When was the last time you and Deanna were together? About a month ago. And who does Shalanda think is the father of, uh, of Deanna's child? This one guy that she used to go out with. But the baby looks nothing like him. And my wife even said that. So you have to reveal this to Shalanda now. Yeah. Here's your wife, Shalanda.
Solanda, you're proud of yourself. So how do you feel about him? Pretty good? Oh, uh, I love my husband. I know, you know, he forgave me for everything that I've done. Aww. Um, you know, through the journeys that I was on, coming on for searching for my daughter. And I know you can forget what you can't forget. But you know he has a secret to tell you. I hope it's nothing to just destroy our marriage. Terrell, you wanted to do this, so tell her. I have stepped outside of our marriage. And um, I'm ashamed. You know, I'm... Hold on, what'd you say? Oh. Are you serious? Let him tell you the whole thing, Shalanda. The whole thing? There's more. Tell her who it's been with. It's been with Deanna, baby. Shalanda? Huh? What? It's been with Deanna. My daughter! You out! Shalanda. He wanted, to, he wanted to tell you everything. Go ahead, Terrell. Finish off. Finish it off. Baby Sire is my son. My grandbaby. You know what? I can't do this. Really? It's the lowest you could ever do to me. Ever. He's the one of y'all. I'm done. I'm done. I don't deserve it. I'm done. did a DNA test, okay? I didn't come here for this, so you serious? My grandbaby, somebody got home and be with? Shalanda. Shalanda. That's why your ass has been so tight with her now. Sit down. Deanna's here, okay? And we might as well get it all out, all right? Okay? And then you can decide what you want to do. I am so sorry, Sean. Stop talking to me. We've given them DNA tests. We're going to find out the results shortly. But first, Shalanda, here's your daughter, Deanna. Tell me how this happened. Well, he was confining in me for... I mean, of course, she's no angel. You know, the things that's was going on in the past or whatever. And, you know, one thing led to another. So he we was sitting there. Did you say you, you were confiding in him? Is that it? Basically, yeah. I don't know if he knows this or not or whatever, but in the past, she slept with one of my boyfriends. So... Oh. So, I mean, but one that's thing... That's your stepdad. Did you yeah. just have something with your boyfriend? You know you did. We've uh, we've buried that. We've buried that. We're not even going to bring it that up. It never happened. It happened. No. Okay. Because you were a runaway doing what you wanted to do, and I tried to protect and you, you from with the my streets. boyfriend still. Are you okay. serious? All right. Do you Y'all both are trapped. You think that Terrell is the father of Sire? I mean, yeah. Like, look, look at the, the same look that they have right now. Look at the forehead, the nose, the eyes. They have the same grin right now. He says y'all were together maybe a month or so ago. Yes. He called me last night to come to the room. I just wanted to see the baby, that's all. You what? I just want to see the baby. You told me you were trying to go to the store. Are you serious? Are you? 
I just want to Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Shalanda. Shalanda. Oh my god. Is it is it is this marriage over? It's done. You don't want to be with him, do you? No, I don't I don't want a relationship with him anything like that. that there? My daughter? This is, this is maybe one of the most painful moments I've ever had on this show. I've done this show for 21 years, and I've been opening these envelopes a long, long time. And this might be the one I do not want to open. Sires, how old? He'll be 2 He'll be 12 next month. What does he call Terrell? Dad. In the case of 23-month-old sire, Terrell, you are not.